RagerDolls.com. I'm here with guys from Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. What are your guys' names and what instruments do you play? I'm Joey, I play the bass. Do -do -do. And I'm John and I play the skins. Alright, well tell me, first off, where is your band from? Uh, Jacksonville, Florida. You guys all from there? Yeah, actually it's like 30 minutes south. It's called Orange Park, Middleburg area. But it's Jacksonville. How long have you guys been together? Um, See, the band's been around for about five or six years. Yeah, me and this, this guy are the newest members. Yeah, we've been together three years. Me and him were the newest members. Really? So how did you guys all meet? Uh, we all live in the same small town. We knew each other before the band, but it was just when it came opportunity to. We used to go. I used to go out and party right with these guys. So before I was in the band. Bass player, drummer, guys just always together. Out. We knew people. Okay, so what event are we at right now? What tour are you guys on? The right Warp now? Tour. It's the very first day of the Warp Tour, actually. And uh, as you can see, it's all hectic and people are going crazy and no one knows what to do. So, awesome, cool. awesome. So tell me, um, tell me about cities and states that you play in. Is there any crazy city that you um, played in? Any you know crazy story? Denver, uh, Colorado. Denver's pretty crazy. Salt Lake City, uh, Ohio, for some reason, is pretty yeah. nuts. We're from Florida. Though. A lot of our Florida shows are the best. Uh, where are some crazy shows? There's crazy shows in Canada too. What, as what well. was the show that got canceled? Things are a little more Fire Marshal came. There's what? almost a riot out, like, outside. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where that was. We started our first song, and within the first song, the Fire Marshal came up, grabbed Ronnie's leg, and was like, Stop right now! <laughs> and then uh, the show yeah. was shut down. Kids were about to riot. What was the reason why? There's a whole SWAT team there. There's too many people. Like, it was a free show, it was a benefit show. You bring in like canned goods, you get it for free. And Thanks. so many people ended up caming, it was uh, basically shut it down. And that was yeah. in Canada. That wasn't in Canada. I don't remember that was. That was in Denver? No, no, I don't think it was Denver either. Denver, we had a MySpace show, though, a secret show. That was pretty rad. Awesome, awesome. So tell me, who are your uh, major influences? Like, who inspired you to become a musician? John Bonham. Very nice. And for me, let's see, John Bonham, Stuart Copeland, uh, Tony Williams, who played with Miles Davis. All and your drum stuff, yeah. <laughs> We, we just Prince we really, and Michael Jackson. Yeah, we love things that everybody else loves. I mean, we I grew up listening to bands like, uh, you know, just bands that were out. Like, as far as like punk rock and like when we were younger, like Newfound Glory, Green Day, all that stuff. A lot of guys, the band like No Effects, Lagwagon, you know, Big Wig. But then we still all love like Jimi Hendrix, Pink Floyd, Queen, you know, anybody, Ween, Talking Heads. And so everything just kind of like, we all like so much, it was, it was kind of. You know, it was easy for us to come together as a band and just like sort it out, you know. Any particular like bass player that you that you really are into? Uh, you know what? Flea. Chili Pepper is one of my favorite bands. Uh, he's just like the shit. <laughs> Any one particular drummer that you might be into? John Bonham. I'm more of a Tony I'm Wilkes. more of a Dave Grohl kind of girl. Uh, <laughs> you can't forget about Tommy Lee either. Come on. Of course you can never forget about Tommy Lee. <laughs> Who can forget about that? So tell me, well, what do you guys think of the music scene today? It's awesome. Are there think, any bands that you guys are currently into? Uh, Circuit Survive, some of my favorite bands on this tour. Um, I really like Paramore right now because they're awesome and Halo's a little cutie. So she, <laughs> if you ever see this, it's John's Paramore, Paramore. There's a band called Shine Toy Guns that's out right now. That's they're cool. awesome. Uh, yeah, I've heard of them. Awesome. They're actually really good. We played it, we got like to play a few shows with them. Uh, uh, a band called The Rain Drive. I like those guys a lot. They're and uh, they're on this tour for a couple of days. Um, Right There's so many. Adina know. Lake, great band. Um, so yeah. tell me, um, tell me about your CD that you, you know, you guys have out. You know, what what can people expect from from your CDs that you know as, as you guys progress through your your, your music? Yeah, you know? it's just uh, we honestly have this thing we just call like red jumpsuit songs. You know, like we are the band Red Jumps Apparatus, and we write these songs like for us that have a certain vibe to them that we just kind of all dig. It's just something that we all like uh, understand very well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We kind of put our band category in the category of like Red Jumps and Friends. Yeah. In Boston. What, in can, Boston. what can your fans expect from you? What, when you they expect us to be real until real Red things that happen yeah. to us in every song. Really? Real, real things that directly affect us. So if you want to know who we are, what we're about, then listen to the album. Don't you think, for example, the first song on the album talks about standing in the crowd over a year ago. I was standing in the crowd waiting for my chance to make it. Looking at other bands going, I can do that. That's the first song on our album. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, and then other songs like Waiting, which is actually about waiting for the record deal to go through and waiting for a chance to break out of our hometown and, you know, just that kind of thing. Our next record will probably be about 
Me and John be Man secretly love. in love. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, but you can expect it to be real. You expect it to be what we're about. And, you know, we, you know, whatever. It's us. The red jumpsuit apparatus. So tell me, how is your groupie intake? Do you guys have any crazy groupie stories? You know what? We have some awesome stories, but we're all we're all pretty much taken. So as far as like when groupies come along, it's more fun to have like. Uh, fun with them in a different way, I guess, than some of the rock bands. Do you have any like crazy, like stalkerish kind of stories? Not like, really. Maybe I someone mean, might have followed there's you. There's been like times where people have honestly just, like jumped on our bus and like you know come in the bus randomly or just like I don't I know. Just, there's pretty crazy people across the country. Across so tell, the tell me, what are your thoughts on porn? You know what? We're seriously so open-minded that you know porn is awesome, just like everything else. It's just this thing that's like happens and like man, I don't know. Well, me personally, I'm like not against like anything. Do you guys watch porn on tour? You know what? Sometimes we leave it on. Sometimes we go to the Playboy channel on the satellite on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a specific kind of porn that you like to watch? I think there's only one channel we have, so it's kind of just over on that. It's more to creep each other out when we have a bus of like 12 dudes, so uh, it's kind of awkward to sit around and all watch porn together, so it's more just to creep I think it's out. pretty cool with two girls. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm going to hear it. Come on. I think it's pretty cool cool when two girls have this, the double-sided dildos and they like play around. Uh, thought like, for <laughs> razor dolls. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think it's funny. Well, tell me, do you guys have any um, uh, sexual fetishes? Anything that, you know, kind of gets you? No, but I will tell you this. Uh, when we were recording our record, there was, it was in Hoboken, New Jersey, and there was this like crazy off-the-wall porn shop right on the other side of the train station oh, that God. sold anything you could ever imagine. So we really, really went to go find like the the bottom end, like the, the, worst, the nastiest, the worst, worst, the nastiest. worst things we could to entertain ourselves for a while. So, so. what did we find? <laughs> Tell them what we found. Uh, there was there was honestly this like really crazy foreign old like these like scat Shiger? horns. The worst in that. Scat. Was, like all this scat horn. Just oh my crazy. god! But you know it's it more was, for the thrill factor than it is. For it was the, funny because we turned it on and all turned factor. away. And then, you know, a couple of people from the studio that we've been working with us or members of the band would walk in and see it on the screen and almost throw up. In the yeah, scene. Ronnie walked in and gagged. He was like, oh. How long did you guys watch before you turned off? About the full hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> By then, we were tired. Oh, you like, I just can't stop watching. I don't know. <laughs> no, it was really weird, actually. What about? I mean, if I'm going to sit down, you know, Lay down and like turn on a porn. Let, let's, let's get a look at his outfit, though. Like, and let's imagine this. While John's a natural porn star. Look at that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm trying to get everyone to imagine what you're like trying to say. Just okay, imagine. well, tell me, craziest place you've had sex? Craziest. Elevator. Really? I really haven't had sex in a crazy place. I've had one girl from my whole life, and uh, I actually have a child on the way, so that would have been the craziest time I've had sex on it, if I could remember that. Woo! Anyway. Clap. Boy or girl? It's a little girl. <gasps> and I'm stoked, because I want a little girl. And I have my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> Tell the name. What's her name? Ella. Ella. I wasn't gonna name her John, but. <laughs> okay, so tell me, tits or ass? Definitely neither. Really? <laughs> yeah. Neither. neither and it's all about vagina. You know what? I, I, <laughs> I wasn't I'll tell you one thing that I do have. love about girls, though, is sometimes the girls have like amazing necks, like. Yeah, Some, amazing, I can't explain yeah. it. It's just a proportion thing. Like the way a girl's hair flows with her neck. Yeah, and the way the head just sits rad. right on the neck. I get it, dude. Like it's like, what? I don't know. Is that weird? <laughs> no, I mean now when you say that, I think of Britney Spears because she has like a weird looking. When neck. I was younger, I used to think the small of the back was really cute. See, oh, with a girl, I like the dimples on the bottom of the back. The dimples. You know oh. how they have the little dimples in the bottom? Oh, I love no, that. What about you? What do you like on guys? I like right here. Oh, the V's. Oh. Yeah, I love that. Oh, you're in luck, I'm tattooed on my feet. <laughs> Can I'm we get a little look on that? Look at that. Ow! Show, show it off. John has seven tattoos on his sides. <laughs> so tell me, um, what's after this? Where are you guys off to next? Uh, we're going to take a little break. Yeah. Warp Tour is over, so we're going to take September off. Uh, the rest of the winter, we're honestly just going to catch up on our lives, I guess. We've been torn and like being busy for like, two and a half years now. So the, this September is the longest time we've ever had off, as far as the, the band is concerned. So we're just seriously probably going to go crazy. Awesome. Well, you guys have any final words? You know, anything to tell your fans out there in the porn community? Yeah, rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> and if, I get an, please, if I get enough emails, I might actually mind. do a scene. Maybe. Awesome. You're getting, you're getting groped up on oh, look who it is. Come here.
<laughs> Will, you like porn, right? You know, I saw y'all day today. We inter like we've entered you. Me. See? That's what I was just talking about. Are we gonna do a gay porn? Yeah, dude. It's yeah, no, it's like straight. It's completely straight, though. It's completely straight. No, I'm just being funny. I gotta have a Jaja. You know. Well, last words. Thank you very much for everything. So wait, tell me, where can people find you if they want to hear and see more of you? You can find us at redjumpsuit.com or you can find us at myspace.com slash redjumpsuit. Here's Elias. If you want to find us, just look on, look for Elias because Elias is the porn star. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm a good boy. Shut up. <laughs> well, thank you very much for taking time with me and with Razor Dolls. Once again, names, Joey, instruments. Elias. Elias. John. John. And this is Razor Dolls. Thank you, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Rock on. Well, she never.